It's another Monday, and that means another show from What in the World. And this week, we have updates from Toy Story Land, including the first point of view from Slinky Dog Dash Coaster. We have news on the Wheezy animatronic. We also have some news on Disney's After Hour events. And also, we've got a merchandise update as always. All that coming up in this week's show. Hi everyone and welcome to What in the World. It's a holiday weekend in the UK, the sun is shining and we have an extra day off work, so everyone's happy. So let's get on with this week's Disney news. So do you sometimes wish that Magic Kingdom wasn't as crowded and you can just go and get on the rides when you want? Well, Disney's After Hours might be for you. Disney Parks blog this week shared that the limited ticket event will be coming back from June 28th to September 20th for only 11 nights. Disney's After Hours will let you enjoy the Magic Kingdom without all the stress of the crowds once the operating hours are done for the day. And more than 25 attractions will remain open, including favourites like the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain and also Haunted Mansion. Tickets are limited and cost $119, and this includes admission into the park from 7pm. Although most nights, the park does close at 10pm, but after hours guests can stay till 1am. Tickets do also include selected ice cream, popcorn and drinks, but I'm sure there won't be much of a queue at the Main Street Bakery either if you want to go there. So there's not really been much news from Epcot in this last couple of weeks, and this is just a quick update about the Wonders of Life Pavilion, which we've spoke about before. Now, we mentioned about two months ago on the show about the ongoing work that was happening on the roof, and then later on, a job posting was spotted for an interior designer, which gave us the impression that the pavilion might be getting more than just a refresh. So work on the roof is still ongoing, and we've got some brand new photos from WDW News today, and we can see that welding has been going on, which would seem to be for sealing and weatherproofing the roof. It also seems that a band of dark gold paint has appeared. Now, Disney is putting a lot of work into restoring the pavilion, but there's still no word on what is coming as of yet. Disney Parks blog this week shared a brand new look at the Guardians of the Galaxy coaster that is coming to Epcot. Now, in this new video, we can see exactly what it takes to lay the foundations for this ride, including over 960 trucks and 17 hours for one giant pour of concrete. Take a look. That video shows us some amazing stats on exactly what it takes just to make this new coaster a reality. Now while we're on about Guardians of the Galaxy, the walls surrounding the Energy Pavilion this week have also had a makeover. The new walls feature an outer space backdrop and also the Guardians font, letting guests know that a whole new galaxy will be coming soon. We can also see in the top corner of some of the quotes a number 21, signalling that the ride is coming in the year 2021. And I personally cannot wait to ride this brand new coaster. So earlier this week, Good Morning America, which is a show on ABC, which is owned by Disney, started a massive marketing push on Toy Story Land, giving us a first look at the attractions and also the merchandise that will be on offer when it opens next month. Now in this short clip, we got a first look at the Alien Swirling Saucers ride and also the Wheezy animatronic, which will greet guests at the end of Slinky Dog Dash. The Alien Swirling Saucers ride has been designed to look like a toy from Pizza Planet and placed in Andy's backyard, and we'll see the aliens flying around whilst the claw appears overhead. 
Guests will whirl around the planets and space stations to the beat of a fun electronic space soundtrack that includes eight familiar songs, but in a quirky way guests have never heard them before. Slinky Dog Dash we've spoke about before, where guests ride a roller coaster that Andy has assembled from his Mega Coaster Play Kit. Now Disney Parks Bog posted the first on-ride footage from this and it's sure to be a popular ride when the land opens. Finally we spoke about Wheezy a few weeks ago when he was installed into the land, but now we have our first glimpse of this brand new audio animatronic in action. Now we'll be helped out by Andy's toys Mike who will be giving Wheezy, well, a mic, and also Mr Spell who will give us some funny jokes. Finally we got a glimpse at a brand new couple of pieces of merchandise as well from the land and back on the show on the 15th of March we give you the first look at both the alien headband and also the slinky dog headband. Now we have a brand new slinky dog toy which has some colourful light up rings and we also have these kids I played their commemorative shirts. For the first time on the show I get to say it, Toy Story Land opens next month. So from now until June 30th, guests staying at Walt Disney World Resort can enjoy extra magic hours at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now this will give you the chance to spend more time in Pandora on favourites like the Navi River Journey and also Flight of Passage, as well as Dinosaur and Expedition Everest. We've spoke about on the show before how extra magic hours will be moving for July right through till the end of August to Hollywood Studios. This is so guests can take advantage of Toy Story Land as well as other attractions. All the extra magic hours are up on the calendar at DisneyWorld.com. Now this week's other news seems to have a little bit of a vehicle based theme. First up we have the brand new Avengers Infinity War bus which seems to be doing the rounds at Walt Disney World. This is to help celebrate the release of the brand new movie which debuted with a 257 million plus opening weekend, smashing the record previously set by Star Wars The Force Awakens and will surely break the record for the fastest run to 1 billion. Now the second vehicle we have to talk about is this Toy Story themed plane which just debuted in China. The new aircraft is a collaboration between China Eastern Airlines and Shanghai Disney Resort. The plane features Woody on one side and Buzz on the other and inside the theming continues with Toy Story headrests and also tray tables. The menus are also themed around the movie with food, drinks and even Toy Story cutlery. This new plane will be used for domestic flights to and from Shanghai. We all of our Disney merchandise, so on to this week's merchandise update. First up we have this brand new Winnie the Pooh mug which retails at $13.99. We also have these new Hatbox Ghost Magnets which double as a bottle opener and these are retailing at $12.99. Now last week we spoke about the brand new Rainbow Love Ears hat which is available for Gay Pride Month. Now Minnie won't be outdone by Mickey so coming any day now will be this Rainbow Mini Ears headband. Now there's currently no price on this item as of yet. Now everybody I know loved last year's release of the notebooks which looked like the vintage VHS cassette tapes for the different Disney movies. Now it seems a second wave has hit Walt Disney World this week. Now last year saw the release of Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin and The Lion King. Now added to these designs are Dumbo, Peter Pan, The Little Mermaid and The Lady and the Tramp. All of these are priced at $15.99 and are available now. Good news for UK guests travelling to the happiest place on earth this week as well as Disney have revealed a limited edition Toy Story Land Magic Band which will be exclusives to guests from the UK and Ireland. Now when you book you'll receive a voucher to collect this magic band from the world of Disney at Disney Springs. You'll hand your voucher into a cast member but you'll also need a form of ID to collect it as well. Now this is for arrivals up until the 31st of December but you must book your package before the 31st of July to get the voucher. Now lastly for those that like to collect the Starbucks mugs in the parks there's a brand new You Are Here mug which debuted in the Magic Kingdom this week. Now this is themed to Tomorrowland and features a few of the landmarks including Space Mountain and also the entrance sign and the Rocket Tower Plaza. Now this retails at $16.99 but is in very limited supply at the moment but hopefully more will be coming over the next couple of days. That's it for another week's show from What in the World. Let me know in the comments below what you think of that brand new Wheezy animatronic and are you getting more excited for Toy Story Land the closer it gets. Now if you did like this episode of the show please give us a massive thumbs up as that will help us out and don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of the show. Now, you can find us through the week on Facebook and Twitter at What in the D World. And until next week, thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. <laughs>